A very good morning my dear students of class 6 today we are going to take the same chapter internet online surfing this is the fifth part of this chapter and the topic which we are going to cover is netiquette of internet netiquette means the good manners which you have to have when you are using internet. First let us know what is netiquette. The word netiquette is derived from two words that is internet and etiquette. All of us we know what is internet and etiquette is good manners. So commonly we call it net etiquette. In short, we call it net etiquette. These are basically some guidelines of normal and good behavior while communicating on the internet. That means when we are chatting, when we are sending the messages, emails to one another, that time we have to keep in mind certain things, certain rules, and these are called net etiquette. Another definition for an etiquette is it's the informal set of rules or polite behavior that is expected to be followed while using internet. So whenever we use internet, we must be very, very polite. We should not be harsh to anyone. And all these rules are called netiquette. May it be your Facebook, WhatsApp, Twitter, anything. So whenever you are our messenger, whenever we are using this, we should be very, very polite. We should not hurt others' feelings. We should be able to listen to others. So let us learn about the various rules of netiquette. The first rule is use computer courtesy. Be courteous and respectful to others while sending an email or chatting on the internet. So we should be very very careful when we chat with others. We should be respectful. Rule number two, do not shout. So we are not talking about the literal shouting as we shout and yell at others. In computer, shouting means something else. And what is it? Do not type a message in all uppercase. Uppercase means capital letter using caps lock. That means all the letters written in capital. It is considered to be shouting on internet. So when you are using internet, when you are chatting, tapping something and you type the whole sentence in uppercase or capital letters it is called shouting so don't use that here you can see the caps lock is on that means whatever you type it will be typed in capital letters now this is called shouting here you can see the lady has written ok google so everything is written in capital letter or caps lock in uppercase so this is called shouting. So never use all capital letters. Avoid doing that. Rule three is keep personal information private. So that is always there. Whatever is personal should not become public. Okay. So you have to keep the privacy of your information. Posting private and personal information in the wrong location can have serious consequences. If you are giving your own personal details, personal information on the net, then it could be dangerous. So be very, very careful while you are posting anything personal on the internet or on online. So protect your 
identity you need not to give all your personal details on the net number four we have pay attention to the language issue when we talk with someone then also we have to take care of this we should be very careful about our language especially when you are sending the message sending email or chatting with someone it is not nice to hurt others other people's feeling so never use offensing offensive comments any comment which could hurt others feeling you should not use while sending the email or chatting on the internet now here you can see two people are chatting so the same chatting if you do it through the net that means uh, we are chatting on the internet or sending someone a mail we should be very careful with our words we should not hurt others feelings here you can see so along with the normal stuff never use offensive words rule 5 is respect other in our day to day life also we have to respect others and same way when we are using the net we have to respect others it's okay to think what you are doing at a moment but don't expect anyone else to agree with you what you are posting what you are typing on the net may be correct for you may not be for others others may not agree with you so don't expect that others also will think as you are thinking so you should have respect for others point of view also here i have put one caption treat others the way you want to be treated so don't write anything which may hurt others the treatment you want for yourself same treatment you give to others and here two more are there respect give respect and get respect if you give respect to someone then only you can receive respect and here if you give respect to someone you will earn respect for your self so respect others when you are using net next we have be tolerant and careful so whenever we use the internet it's not only limited people all over the world people use internet so people who surf internet come from many different places around the world and may have different views on things be open to listen to others on what they have to say don't jump into the conclusions so many a times we try to tell what we know what we want to say but here other people are also there which are not even from your country so they may have different ideas different views so not always you have to talk you have to at times listen also so be open to listen to others and simply don't jump to the conclusion here you can see one guy is there he is telling something and others are listening to him we don't allow someone to talk but here you have to do that wait for your turn you also can give your views but try to listen to others also now i am giving one example of our own country india here you can see with the symbols you will understand that people are there from various religions so whatever my ideology is whatever my idea is may not match with others so we have to respect others feelings as well once we do that then only we are following the rules of netiquette rule 7 obey copyright laws sometimes you see on the book there is a circle made and in that circle there is c just like this 
okay this is called copyright that means the one who has written that has got all the rights okay you cannot take a part of it and produce it as your own that is called stealing so here it is written while copying text or saving any picture obey copyright laws don't steal so many a times we use somebody else's stuff maybe in our projects in other things so there you have to take care of the copyright obey copyright laws don't copy someone else's work as your own many a times you see that uh, i'll give you one example of a facebook all of you are familiar with facebook so whenever someone clicks a nice photograph of a bird or maybe a scene what we do is we copy that we take the screenshot and we put it on our wall telling that it is done by us this is cheating this is stealing so don't do that be aware of cyber bullying bullying all of us we know sometimes in the school also some bigger boys are there or bigger girls are there they are teasing the younger ones or smaller ones so if the same thing is done on the net when the internet cell phones or other devices are used to send or post text or images intended to hurt or embarrass another person it is defined as cyber bullying someone is teasing you hurting your emotions on the net by sending you the messages which are not appropriate this is called cyber bullying nowadays it is increasing rapidly if you are targeted by a cyber bully do not respond you need not to respond to that person keep all original correspondence with dates and times if possible and in this case always talk to the elders your parents your teachers that someone is doing this on the internet it is possible that your own friends might be doing this so this is wrong this should not be done here you can see with various examples some rumors teasing gossiping against someone insulting someone some threats given calling you by uh, names which you don't like some funny names harassing you telling mean words uh, just like uh, you are ugly you are fat no one loves you you are a loser okay so not only with the girls here you can see fat stupid loser ugly hate you so now you can see this girl is crying so not only with the girls boys are also the target of cyber bullying this could could be very very ugly very very dangerous when some students they go under depression some may even commit suicide just because of this that somebody is teasing them on the net maybe with the comments with the photographs or something so that should be stopped so here i have given stop cyber bullying so we should not be the part of it and if someone is doing that you must report it to your elders your parents your elder brothers or sisters or maybe teachers next we have use internet acronyms acronyms are the short forms for the words which is used in the internet for communication some of the commonly used acronyms are instead of telling a big sentence we say short forms and these short forms are called acronyms for example asap which means as soon as possible btw you must be knowing better than me by the way see catch you later check your email ben bye for now see you later dnd uh, this you should know whenever we don't want advertisement from the provider in our mobile we activate this dnd service which means do not disturb fyi for your information 
hand is have a nice day jk is just kidding k is okay l h r is later l o l laughing out loud l m k let me know o i c t t f n that is tata for now t c take care very often used thanks t h x u two you know that and u r so these are commonly used acronyms which can be used when you are using internet for chatting make sure when you are sending official mails these acronyms will not work when you are answering your uh, exam paper these acronyms will not work not even your copies exercise books only when you are chatting with your friends or relatives you may use this acronyms just related to this we have got the last rule the rule number 10 that is utilizing emoticons there is another word made with emotion and icons the word emoticon is derived from the words emotion and icon these emoticons are the combination of key strokes that means we use some keys together that form a sort of picture so looking at it you will realize that is the kind of picture maybe smiling or something relating to an emotion some popular emoticons include now this is taken from your book for example happy face happy face with a nose laughing face winking face that means closing one of the eyes you are surprised or shock you can do like this sad face sad face with a nose laughing hard being tired you are angry or yelling at someone so these are called emoticons nowadays they are rarely used instead of that we go for the graphic emoticons which is also called emojis in common term common terms you call it smileys small images you have replaced type text in graphic emoticons here they, they are Emo emoticons can prove to be useful tool to communicate your thoughts emotions emoticons are pictures that depict some moods such as smiling sad yelling crying and angry everything you cannot write in text so sometimes you can just send one emoticon which says that you are very happy or you are not in a good mood you are sad something like that so these are various emo uh, emoticons which i have used here this is also called emojis nowadays all of us we use this whenever we send the messages across with this we have finished this particular topic of netiquette let's stay home let's stay safe now you will be surprised to see this what is this hand this you have understood that this is an emoticon what is this hand have a nice day